I saw your faces on Monday at 12.30. I knew we were going to come up here and we were going to win the football game. Ooh, this one feels sweet, man. I'm about to run the ball on this, man. Let's go! Big Dubs! Big Dubs! I'm feeling amazing, baby. That's a Dove, Lambo, man. Thursday night football. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Tighten up! Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Shift 4. With the head coach, I'm Mike Keith. Titans win two games in five days, knocking off Denver on Sunday and then beating Green Bay last Thursday by a final score of 27 to 17. And as we saw the open to the Mike Vrabel Show, did those guys have as much fun as it seems like they have? Well, when you win, you have fun. <laughs> I think that that certainly helps. And you know, we, we um, you put a lot of time in together and, and, you, and you get to know each other. And, you know, I think that's all part of it is, is being able to, to, to work with each other and push each other and hold each other accountable. But then but then also build relationships and have fun. I mean, that's what this is about. What did they say on the A-team? Hannibal used to say, it's great when a plan comes together. I love together. it when a plan comes together. I love together. it when a plan comes together. But it, it does feel that way. Watching you at the end of that game with the staff and with the players and everybody enjoying it. That's kind of the ultimate of why you do this, right? Well, it's certainly why you work so hard is, is to try to give the players every opportunity to go out there and have success. And, you know, it's a small role that we play as coaches. And, you know, we just we're, – we're excited for them, but, but I'm excited for the staff. These guys put a lot of time in, especially on that short turnaround. All right, let's take a look at the Mike Vrabel six-pack to begin. We begin in the first quarter, first series, the big play that really gets it started, and it's a deep ball. Well, third down here, and you can see the protection. You know, this is a third down, and you normally don't get this type of protection on third down. And, you know, Ryan's able to progress through and saw the favorable matchup that we liked. And, you know, we have to be able to move the ball down the field, especially when teams aren't, you know, really expecting it. That's a great way to start the game. You know, Traylon tracked it. He set his angle. You know, Ryan was able to, to get the ball down and, and him, you use his size and, and run underneath it and, and secure the catch. Titans go on to score a touchdown on their first possession for the first time since the game at Indianapolis on October the 2nd. Defense was also a huge story of the night. Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon had rushed for over 200 yards combined four times this season. Had to stop the run. Had to stop had the to. run. Did stop the run. Watch this example of stopping the run. This is some good stuff right here from the Titans defenders, whether it was run or pass, how they use these backs. Titans had to get after him. Here's Jones going wide. Yeah, look at it. We get the edge set. Sam makes some bubble. It's a little rookie show right there. We got Roger coming in there, triggering uh, Sam O. And, uh, you know, that's great to see. You can see him trying to bounce it out there. And, you know, kind of had an idea that they were going to try to get the ball on the perimeter. Um, hadn't been too much, really, you know, success in there with Tierra and and Jeffrey, so you know those guys did a nice job. They were able to swarm and rally to the football. All right, back to offense. Another big play, an X play, as you like to say. Another rookie making a catch, and it seems like he makes one big one in every game now. This one to Chigakonkwa. Yep, and again, you can see Ryan under a little bit of duress. He drifts in the pocket. They drop Chig, and you know Ryan's able to just to get it out there enough and get enough on it. You know, we have to catch uh, Chig in stride and let him use his skill set. But, you know, to be able to concentrate on this thing, lay out for it, secure the catch as he was going to the ground, surviving the ground, you know, love the operation. Guys went on the ball um, just to avoid any kind of, you know, shenanigans there and a challenge. So gain five yards on the next play that we, we ran it. Trusting the young receivers big for Tannehill. Yeah, I mean, trust is a part of everything that we do, coming to work and the guys that, you know, are protecting you, trusting them, trusting that guys are going to be where they're supposed to be. 
you know, in all three phases of our team, there has to be a lot of trust. And it's between the players and the coaches as well. All right, Ryan Tannehill threw the ball very well on Thursday night. Yes, he did. Derrick Henry, however, thinks he's a young Peyton Manning because he threw a touchdown pass as well. Love this call. Dusted off the old jump pass. Not that the guy that's that tall has to jump to throw it, but <laughs> I think he likes to. It's added effect. And, you know, you can see just the patience that's required to go in there and the trust to, to get into the line of scrimmage. Austin did a nice job of, of delaying, um, getting into his block and then slipping off. And, you know, guys were excited. You know, we'd had this play and try to marinate it a little bit. And, you know, felt like that was the right time to, to dust it off. You'd worked it and worked it and worked it to get it right. Well, you want to just make sure that the guys are confident with it and, you know, that you don't rush it. Aaron Rodgers, the four-time MVP quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, had a tough night as the Titans were harassing him all evening long. Finally, in the fourth quarter, they get him, and it's Jeffrey Simmons. Yeah, we, we have to, uh, you know, continue to find ways to affect the quarterback here, but... You know, they closed the pocket in on him, which was great. And then as he uh, just buys time, Jeff's able to come around there. But, you know, that pocket there was one that we really want to have against a lot of these guys. As it collapses on him, you can see here from this angle, there's no real anywhere to step up. He's got no real throwing lanes. And then now he drifts out to the back, and Jeff's able to come in here and get him. And, you know, we got to keep hitting the quarterback. You know, good things happen for defenses when you hit the quarterback. All right, let's look at one more. Two plays later, the exclamation point for the defense. It's fourth and one for Green Bay, trying to keep it going. Denied. Well, and here was the inside run that we talked about. See Demarcus Walker in there, uh, creating a new line of scrimmage, and then certainly Jeff and David triggering. And, you know, I think that that was a really, really good exclamation point to the way that that game went. David Long is credited with the tackle. He had a bunch in the ball game and continues to play well. And coming up next on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Shift 4, you're going to see in our epic Western Genuine Titan segment just how hard David Long plays. You're not going to want to miss this on the Mike Vrabel Show. David Long Jr. is having quite a year as the Titans inside linebacker making play after play, 46 solo tackles and leading the team with a couple interceptions right now. But it just seems when something has to happen, David Long Jr. is part of the answer for the Titans' defense. He was wired in a game recently, and we came away thinking, this is a genuine Titan with how hard he plays and how he goes all the time. Presented by Epic Western, take a look at this genuine Titan segment. When did you know that you were going to have to be a leader on this defense? That you just weren't one of the 11 guys that you got to step up and be David Long, one of the leaders of the Titans defense? I think that just came with my play. We've been great. We've been prepared for this. It's time to rock out. Let's go. He was my roommate back when we were rookies, so we got that connection. So I just know that every game he shows up, he's going to bring that juice. Someone that just plays with effort and just wants to win, it's good to be David Long. I mean, he just shows up every game. He a feisty little dude, you know what I mean? So, shoot, I, I love that energy, a dog. You have to have an emotional leader like that on the field. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit older now, so, like, I'm kind of cool. Got a lot of respect around the league, stuff like that, but a guy like David, he reminds me of my young self when I was out there talking trash to every single body that came across. Yo, let's play for something bigger than ourselves tonight. Big and back home, let's work. Yo, yo, come. I told you it was gonna come back. I told you it was gonna come back. Hey, D, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh my God. It's easy to follow. I always tell him, like, right before the game, I'm like, I'm matching your energy. So uh, he always brings that. Brings the juice and gets us hyped up for sure. Come on, man. All night. All night, bro. Let me see. That's what we needed. Now calm down. Let's go. That's how you win first down. That's how you win first down. 
David, you know, he brings all the energy from the first snap to the last snap for us as a defense. So uh, that's something that we all, you know, appreciate and we need, you know, as a defense because you got to have a, song, a tone setter. And he definitely does his part, you know, and his play backs it up. I got to make that play. I got to make that play. Hey, I love it, bro. Keep going, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing, intercepted, intercepted, David Long, <laughs> and the Titans <laughs> have no. shut down the Commanders yes. at yes. the two. Yes, that is a hell yes. Why are you talk about some grit? This football team, yes. Jeanette Morley put together a beautiful, genuine Titan piece presented by Epic Western. That was, a, that was awesome. That was awesome. That's a guy. Okay, you've been the head coach here for five years. He's been with the team for four. You've brought him along. I remember sitting and talking to you in the old office about what you wanted from him and what you saw in him, and it, it, he continues to get better. He loves football. He loves his teammates. Um, he's fun to coach. He's competitive. Um, you know, really exactly what we're looking for. I mean, he just – he's instinctive. He, he's as tough as any player on our football team. And he's not the biggest linebacker. Uh, hell, he may not be the biggest safety in the league. But he is uh, – he finds the football, and he is not afraid to run into anybody uh, going as fast as he can. And a leader. And it has really improved in all areas. Good blitzer. Um, love coaching him. Coming up later in the show, we will introduce you to the finalists for the 2022 Tennessee Titans, Mr. Football. We'll have Mike Vrabel's keys to Sunday's game, but you got to know your foe first. Coming up, that's it. We'll know your foe on the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Shift 4. The Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Shift 4, continues from the BetMGM studio. Time to know your foe. This weekend at noon at Nissan Stadium, it's the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals coming off a win at Pittsburgh, 37 to 30. Joe Burrow with big numbers on Sunday and big numbers for the year. Been sacked a whole bunch again, in spite of the fact that they have an all new offensive line, or at least a remade offensive line. Yeah, I mean, he holds it. He wants to work the ball downfield. He's not afraid to uh, to hold it. He's confident in his arm and, you know, the protection. You know, the Bengals have won five of their last six, I think. and. You know, they, they, they know how to put points up on the board. They've got great skill players. Um, they throw to their backs, obviously, Jamar Chase and Higgins and Boyd. You know, the tight end has been really, you know, a weapon for them on third down. And, um, you know, like you mentioned, the, um, the, the offensive line. I mean, they, they, they're doing a, a nice job, but, you know, he wants to hold it. He's, he's willing to buy time and, and move the ball down the field. So it'll be a huge challenge offensively. So the leading back is obviously Mixon, but P. Ryan, the 240-pounder, excellent pass catcher, had three touchdown catches on Sunday against the Steelers, and then Higgins having a big year, Chase trying to come back from injury, Boyd putting up outstanding numbers. There's a chance they could have 3,000-yard receivers on this team. Let's hope not on account of the Titans. Well, that's right. Let's slow that process down. When we come back, Mike Vrabel's Nissan Keys to Success that's before we give you the 2022 Tennessee Titans Mr. Football finalists. A lot more to come on the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Shift 4. Titans and Bengals coming up on Sunday as the Mike Vrabel Show continues from the BetMGM studio. Let's talk about the Nissan keys to success. And when I got this, I couldn't believe it. Special teams is at the top of the list. Well, we go in order okay. each week. Okay. <laughs> Special teams, offense, defense, however, however, however they come up on the screen. There you go. All right. Well, so let's see it. It's be, be fast and violent on specialties. Well, 
You and I have talked, and we I thought we were really close to taking that next step and being dominant on special teams. thought we took a step back in Green Bay. Um, just getting back to the essentials, the basics of special teams play. It's a lot of, a lot of distance to travel. We need to cover it with speed and violence and uh, make sure that we're setting the table uh, for each series. The special teams, not only have you been winning the hidden field position, that hidden yardage, but it's been setting such a, a tempo, such a pace. We just saw David Long come on the yeah. field after a big special teams our, hit. Our, our entire team gets up and watches right. covers kickoffs. I mean, that's that means a lot to me as a head football coach for this team. Is I, I guarantee you that not every team in the league is getting everybody off the bench and watching a kickoff. So that means a lot to, to me. And so we have to be able to produce and put a show on for those guys that are watching us, and we need to be doing it with speed and violence. All right, Nissan key to success number two is make them earn everything defensively. Have to. You know, this team is seventh in the league in X play uh, passes. You know, that's been a key to our success recently defensively as we made teams earn it. We haven't given up a bunch of X plays, and uh, you know, we fo forced them to drive the football, and then we found a way to make some plays. So we have to make them earn everything. All right, so. Special teams, defense. Now, how about one from offense? Yes, got to run the ball. Well, we, we did at times against this team, but just not effectively enough consistently through four quarters and then take care of it. Uh, we've talked about the turnover margin and how critical that's going to be. Um, but, but we know where our strength is, and that's running the football, and, and we've got to be creative, but we also have to, uh, to lean on Derek and get going. All right. When we come back, the moment we've been waiting for tonight as we introduce you to the finalists for the 2022 Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Awards, it's next on the Mike Vrabel Show. Favorite show of the year. Favorite show of the year. It's one of our favorite things that we get to do each year, and that's give you the first look at the finalists for the 2022 Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Awards. Let's jump in in Division I right away. And starting in Class A, Cabarro Brown, Memphis Academy of Science and Engineering, Jackson Cassidy, McKenzie High School, Isaiah Thomason, Fayetteville High School, Class 2A, Jaquan Davis, Fairley High School, Josh Jackson, Tider Academy, Zach Prince, East Robertson High School, Class 3A, Jordan Harris, Alcoa High School. Mark Joseph, Sheffield High School. Lance Williams, Alcoa High School. Class 4A, Gabe Borders, Macon County High School. Marcellus Jackson, Fulton High School. Walker Martinez, Anderson County High School. 5A, Deshaun Bishop, Carnes High School. Malachi Doyle, White County High School. Braden Latham, West High School. Class 6A, Justin Brown, Blackman High School. Arion Carter, Smyrna High School. Noah Vaughn, Maryville High School. Now turning to Division II, Class A. Jared Curtis, Nashville Christian School. Kevin Finch, University School of Jackson. D.J. Merriweather, Clarksville Academy. Division II, Class AA. Caleb Beasley, Lipscomb Academy. Charlie Robinson, Webb School of Knoxville. Junior Sherrill, Lipscomb Academy. And Division II, Class 3A. Max Carroll, Briarcrest Christian School. Caleb Hampton, Baylor School. Marcel Reed, Montgomery Bell Academy. And then three listed as Kicker of the Year finalists, regardless of classification. Max Gilbert, Los An Collegiate School. Ozeal Hernandez, Germantown High School. Reese Kenny, Farragut High School. Those are our finalists for the Mr. Football Awards for 2022, presented by the Tennessee Titans. We will award the winners on December 7th at Nissan Stadium at a special luncheon with our friends from the TSSAA. Mike Vrabel, you it's like quite, this stuff. It's quite a list. It is quite a list. And, and a thing that I've noticed since being here since 2018 
is that the high school football has gotten better each and every year. It's gotten more competitive, more players go on and playing at the next level. So congratulations to all those football players and especially those ones that are nominated for Mr. Football this year. And it's going to be a heck of an honor. Good stuff. And good luck to everybody playing in the state semifinals this Friday night with a chance to go on next week and play in the Blue Cross Bowl championship games in Chattanooga. Remind you that the Titans are back in action this Sunday at Nissan Stadium. Tennessee will play host to Cincinnati. We'll kick it off at noon central time. For Coach Mike Vrabel, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us on the Mike Vrabel Show. Right